Okay, I've got my embed code. Let's add our new video here. Link, yes, embed code, yes, new crash course video, awesome. That's not very visually appealing. Okay, if you know me at all by now, you know I'm all about visuals and adding a bunch of videos that way through the add link file version makes these little gray icons here that I don't like. Yes, I can click on them and then the actual thing appears, but I want something a little more visual. So what I'm gonna do is create a page with those same videos embedded upon it. I've already gotten all of these in except for the very last one, so I'm gonna click on it and steal my embed code off of there. I'm gonna come over to my page and edit and drop all the way down to the bottom here. Make me a self an extra space. Again, our old friend, insert content, image, media, from the web, media, link embed, and it goes, insert media, there it is below there, save changes, and now I've got this whole page of videos that looks very nice. Now, that page is actually at the bottom here. So I'm gonna do two things. A, I'm gonna to move to the top of my page, or try to. <laughs> and once I get it up here, I'm gonna go in and edit, and do my favorite little display on in line as opposed to display on a new page and hit save. Now when I go to that folder, there are my visual images right there, nice and handy, all right there, looking much better than these do without having to click on them to make them pop up. And a nice thing about having them watch videos like this in Schoology is I don't have an entire list of videos for them to watch popping up and flame more comments going on down in the bottom in comments. So Hey, it's a motto of mine, keep them in Schoology. It's a way to visualize your course by making your videos on a page in Schoology, embedding it and keeping kids there. For Got A Minute for Schoology, I'm Dr. Phil Pulley.